In this video, I'll tell you a hidden search method inside of LinkedIn that helps you find very, very targeted people on LinkedIn that might become your next client or job if that's what you're searching for. And I'll also give away a free chat GPT prompt template that you can use to ask chat GPT to create the perfect Boolean search for you. Okay, so what are Boolean searches? Boolean searches are nothing but a way to find exactly the type of people you're looking for on LinkedIn. Let's give you a simple example. Imagine you have a big box of toys, right? You want to find your favorite toy, let's say a red car in this box. To do that, you need to tell someone exactly what you're looking for. I want a toy that is red and a car. They look for it in the box and only give you things that are both red and cars. That's like a Boolean search. It helps you find exactly what you're looking for by using specific words to describe it. In this case, the Boolean operator is AND between red and car. So Boolean search searches have five different operators. Number one, AND. You use AND when you're trying to be more specific. That is remove people on your from your search. Second operator is OR. You use OR when you're trying to be less specific and include more people in your search. The third Boolean operator is NOT. You use NOT when you're trying to exclude even more people. Number four is exact quotes. This is when you're trying to find people with a very specific job title or a keyword inside the profile. Number five is parentheses. This is when we're trying to combine all of the four different operators above. To understand these clauses, let's take the story of a real sales robot customer. That's me. I recently used SalesRobot to target the founders of B2B SaaS companies to talk about how our product helped their sales teams get more leads. Here is the Boolean search I used. Let's get deeper into it right on side of LinkedIn. I'm trying to find out companies who are either in the B2B space or in the SaaS space. So for that, I just type in B2B because I want exactly B2B. That's why I've typed B2B or SaaS, right? Or some people actually call it software as a service. So I'll just say it's software as a service, right? So this gives me exactly what I'm looking for, right? So this is how you use the OR clause to figure out, okay, these are the uh, keywords I want inside of somebody's profile. So they're B2B or SaaS or software as a service. So just type that in. You come up with a list of results. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, so I got some people who are in this category. They're B2B or SaaS or software as a service. Now, let's say I didn't have these quotes. Why even want these quotes, right? So if I just click on that, before uh, removing these, um, these, these exact quotes, I had 200K results here, right? So let's see if I remove this, how many results do I end up with? Okay, so 223K. Now, the problem with having uh, software as a service is that you see A is highlighted here, A. So when you don't use exact quotes, it actually gives you results with either software or as or a or a service right so obviously a isn't a unique identifier so that's why we need uh, these quotes so that we end up with results with only exactly all of these titles all right so i now have a narrow list of b2b SaaS, or software as a service let's keep adding more identifiers into it all right uh, b2b software uh, you know these are the types of companies and what do we need we need people who are we need to talk to decision makers, so CEO or, or uh, you know, we could be, you know, co-founders, not C0, co-founder or owner, right, or founder. So these are the few things that could be uh, considered uh, decision makers. So CEO or co-founder or owner or founder, so let's see how narrow we go all right so it narrowed it down much further right so out of 200k only 568 results were people who are you know in this category ceo or co-founder or owner and these are very very targeted people right so these are ceos co-founder business owners now let's remove very small companies we don't want to target people who have only let's say one employee they're just starting out so we could improve uh, remove not self employed or freelancer not freelance or you know sometimes you know linkedin throws up people who are assistants to the ceo uh, you know assistants to the regional manager are, are not regional managers so let's remove that 
all right so it's removed uh some people even even further right so now we have a very 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 targeted list and now when we reach out to these people we can say that hey i saw that you're a founder at a SaaS company i would love to connect with you right so now i have a very detailed very targeted message to write to pitch my product to them so that's the power of a boolean search that's exactly how you narrow down your target list to get exactly the people you want to talk to and not the people that you don't want to talk to. Let's get deeper into how you can use ChatGPT for this. If we have to use ChatGPT, then I created a very nice looking uh, chat thread with GPT and I'll just show you that. So um, ChatGPT is actually a very interesting tool because it seems to really understand Boolean searches, right? Whatever I was doing, I actually asked ChatGPT to do it and it did a better job than me, which kind of made me question my job and made me think like how irrelevant I would be in a couple of years. Okay, so this is what I said. I'm looking to target the founders of B2B SaaS companies on LinkedIn. Can you create a Boolean search for me? All right, that was the prompt. Uh, ChatGPT says, sure, to target founders, you know, you can use a Boolean search string like this. So it's figured out that they could be called founder or co-founder or CEO or chief executive officers and B2B SaaS or, you know, software service. So it, it became even more specific. So it says you can refine it further, you know, uh, specific industries, titles. So now I said, okay, I'm looking to exclude small companies or one person shops, any way to modify that search. So it says, okay, founder or co-founder or CEO and B2B SaaS or business to business software as a service and not freelancer, not solopreneur, not one person, small team, small company or startup. Wow, this is very, very detailed. Now, uh, remember that sometimes chat GPT can make mistakes. So you can feel free to uh, modify uh, this search yourself. For example, rather than and not, LinkedIn uses not freelancer, not solopreneur. So you need to modify this template. Like I tried using it and it threw an error. Also because LinkedIn doesn't want you to write extremely long Boolean filters. So what you can do is you can go to a Google Doc, you can modify it and, and change it until it works. So let me show you exactly how I did that for this particular search. So now for LinkedIn, the problem was that the search was too long. So I removed this part. Also, I removed some other clauses. So let me show you first that this didn't work and then how I actually changed it for it to work. So I just put that in here and now LinkedIn says, this one is our fault, we're looking into it. This is because the search query is too long. I figured out uh, that the search query is too long, so LinkedIn fails. So I just removed this one and also I removed the and here and said not freelancer, not solopreneur. And I removed the other clauses so that it's manageable for LinkedIn. So now I put this in here and okay, this seems like it's failing again. So let's keep pruning it further. Um, and B2B SaaS, let's try not freelance. Okay, so now it's not long enough. So it's able to actually give it concise results. All right, so let's go back to ChatGPT and see what it was saying. I just wanted to see what ChatGPT could do. So I said, okay, I want to expand my search further by other variations of the founder title like owner, right? So if my search was too small, I want to target more people. I want to increase the size of my target market. So I just told him, I just told ChatGPT, it's not a him, I don't know what it is. Can you include variations of those in the search? Then it says, certainly. Expanding the search to include variations such as owner can make it more comprehensive. It understood what I was trying to do. So now it figured out more variations of CEO, owner or president or director. It came up with more titles, right? So ChatGPT is a great tool if you want to create Boolean searches. You don't have to do it to anything yourself. You just tell it what to do. And if it screws up, you try to fix it a little bit. Or you can even tell it to fix it, right? Like sometimes it's able to fix it on its own. So this is how you can use Boolean searches to identify your dream clients on LinkedIn. And you can use this free ChatGPT thread. I'll give you the link. Uh, let ChatGPT do the work for you, right? Like we'll all be irrelevant in a couple of years. See you in the next video.